you know you're not in the south because your driveway is always blocked. Um, gotta get all these mattresses out, can't get the truck back here. Gotta find who owns those trucks. And then this is, uh, lights are off so you can't see it here, let's uh, there we go. This is mattresses. The sewer pipe is behind these mattresses. So we apparently had an entire warehouse worth of mattresses in my basement because there's still enough for another truckload down there. I'll show you when we get back. Okay, so we are, oh wow, the basement kind of echoes now. We have gotten the pipe exposed. So we're gonna work on this. This whole pipe is under pressure, it's filled. Um, the dripping has stopped, so that's, that's good. Um, three loads from the truck so far, and they're still, um, this is the problem, okay? So this store did not have a warehouse, and it was always a single guy living in this house. So they would use the basement as storage. Um, so there was a hundred and some mattresses down here, which was blocking some electrical. Uh, this is the main sewer line that's going out to the septic tank. Uh, that's the clean out I had to get to to try and break up whatever's frozen. Uh, and I couldn't get to it. There is a bunch of uh, baseboards down here. I might actually use them down here. Uh, a bunch of garbage to get rid of that was hidden behind all the mattresses. Like I said, like... 15 boxes of pillows and we still have a shit ton of mattresses um, that need to go out. Um, this was a hide -a bed that was broken by, uh, by the airline. They dropped it and cracked all the back and everything when they took it off the plane. So it was written off but we brought it in here. Uh, when you when you have contractors come they need a place to stay there's no hotel or anything here so they stay at your place so the hide a bed will be basically useful for him to have a place to sleep and it's going to be in this area we're going to, uh all of this is going to the store all of this is going to the store um this stuff's going to the dump and i'm going to set up my projector screen here so that we can watch movies down here it's going to be cool and then i'm going to finish these walls um they put the walls up, but they never finished them. I have all the stuff to finish them, so I might as well finish them. And like I said, we will have to pull this guy out. Um, I have my snake, so we'll pull it out and work on it. Um, now, it's kind of plumbed oddly. Um, even the fucking water lines are plumbed oddly, but that's that's besides the point. I don't even know what would be what would be above here. That has to be going to the kitchen sink, but it's not in the right spot to be going to the kitchen. No, it's probably coming from the water main, okay. But, um, so right here, this is the kitchen sink. Uh, it's running off for the kitchen sink. And over here, this is uh, what was dripping. Uh, like I said, up here where the black is, that's what was dripping. Uh, here's another, another clean out, but I know that it's not there, um, but this is the bathroom up above me. Those holes is where a, a dishwasher used to be, but yeah. So we have the tub, the toilet, all that stuff, right? Um, all plumbed in, and I'm really not looking forward to this plumbing job because it wasn't plumbed very well. But we're not at a point where we can get to the stuff. So we'll get it done and get it fixed. Uh, also, I found a whole bunch of boxes of product <clears throat> that's been down here since 2020 and nobody knew was here because it was behind all the mattresses. Um, there they are. So they were never counted in inventory in the last two years. And... Yeah. Ooh, what the hell's under this carpet? Hmm, interesting. So yeah, we're we're gonna set this all up. It's going to be a nice little nice little place when I'm all done. Anyway, bye bye. I did it. Hear that?
You hear it? I fix the pipes. I can lay pipe, I can plunge pipe, I can I can do things to pipes. Okay, so I'm almost done with the garbage. Uh, I do, like I said, I'm going to finish this whole thing properly since they decided not to. Uh, I have all the spackle. There is a few nails and stuff I'm gonna have to deal with before I spackle because some of the nails aren't in all the way, some of the screws aren't in all the way, but easy enough. Spackling and, and sanding, easy enough. Painting, it's fairly open room. It'll be pretty damn easy. Um, this is all garbage, it's gonna have to go out. Uh, this is also pretty much all garbage. All these books, I'm going to see if anyone wants them. I'll post them for free. Hey, you guys want books? Uh, from what I've been told, one of the guys that ran this store at one point didn't want to sell books because he had no room. So he put them all in a box and hid them in the basement so they would come off of inventory. And that was years ago. And, um, now you have all these books that you have to deal with. Um... All of this is going into the store. Uh, again, they charge us rent. Um, the way they do it is is different so that it's, it's a taxable benefit. But if this house is a taxable benefit, it's not the company's warehouse. It's my house. Um, all of that over there is going to the store. This couch is staying here. Um, yeah, this is all going to the store as well. Got to go through it. Uh, and these baseboards, these baseboards will actually get, uh, get put out and on uh, once we finish this. Because that's what they are, they're baseboards for the house, so we'll use them. A um, lot of other stuff down here, um, just to deal with. <laughs> like, that's probably for the store, not the house. Uh, but we will go move it into the utility room that needs a new floor. Um, yeah, I'm, what, we've been here since August. It's almost January 1st because it's December 30th. We're just finally getting to this stuff. But house is coming along finally. <laughs>